watching my video three of my loop artificial pancreas series um, now I've been thinking long and hard of like how to show you and explain to you what being on a closed loop really is like what happens and things like that and I thought the best way to explain to you is just to show you so I'm gonna be vlogging my day today showing you you know what happens when you're on closed loop how do you go around you know bolus and etc etc I'm gonna demo bolus from the watch bolus from the uh, iPhone all sorts of things so that's what's happening today and remember being on a closed loop means you have all of the intelligent features on so that includes automatic basal and automatic insulin corrections based on your insulin and carbohydrates but I'll explain that later on and um, so that's what's happening today and today is just a normal day nothing special happens I'm joking today is the royal wedding and so we are very excited we are very excited um, I've been very public that I wanted to be on close loop by the royal wedding. Today was like my deadline. And um, so I thought, what's a better day to vlog than today? So obviously I'm not going to the royal wedding. So let's get some breakfast. So let's talk about automatic basil overnight while I'm preparing my breakfast. So uh, when we talk about automatic basil, by the way, I've prepared my breakfast. So the closed loop increases and decreases your basal, your background insulin overnight to make sure you always stay in your range. Now, my personal range for the loop is 5 and 6 and this morning I woke up with 5.5 so as you can see it works just fine. Now I've been on a closed loop for 6 days and I've woke up with a blood glucose level that is in between 4 and 7 on every single one of those nights. Now that is not always exactly in that loop target just because the loop target is very very narrow, very very small so sometimes it just physically is not possible to make sure it's always in that target but like today it was perfect. So um, by doing that it ensures you always stay in target when you wake up but also through the night so you get better sleep and uh, it avoided me from having I think one overnight hypo in total which I think is just incredible um, and um, so yeah sleeping with closed loop is incredible so now let's bowl this from my phone shall we so as always I'm having my Belvita breakfast bar for breakfast and um, it's 32 grams of carbs and it's still my favorite breakfast so now let's bowl this for it so when you when you on the Close loop or open loop in fact you build this through the loop app on your iPhone so just open the app and you go to the meal tab here in the bottom you need to enter your carbohydrates so 32 carbohydrates and for this particular meal I'm choosing that the food type is the three hour absorption time uh, on the packet it says four hours but personally for me it's just three hours so always go with you know what's the best for you save that and it's recommending three units of insulin so let me just press free and when I press deliver it's asking me to authorize it with my touch ID which is my uh, finger prick fingerprint uh, scan thing you authorize it and as soon as you authorize it if I now go to the pump the signal is sending loop instruction to the Riley link and it should there we go and the loop is now talking to my pump and my pump is now bolusing three unions of insulin So I've done my morning news, BBC news read and Facebook check and all sorts of things like that and my phone was in, on my desk and when you're on loop you need to carry your phone with you like everywhere, like everywhere because like this is the key component, this is the brain of your whole operation so like I'm starting to get that habit of you know taking my phone with me like even to when going to a bathroom 
because you need to be in the Bluetooth range. Anyway, I'm off to um, make myself a coffee and I've got quite an interesting way of showing you one interesting thing about Loop. So I got my coffee. Now I'm one of those diabetics that actually needs to bowl this for a coffee. Um, that part of caffeine just really spikes my blood glucose levels. So I count as 25 grams of carbs, which I know is a lot, but that's just something that I need to do from a personal experience. And I just thought it's a great opportunity to show you just how quickly you can bowl this using your Apple Watch um, when you're on loop. So I will invite a friend round, come over, and we will show you just this comparison of just how much quicker it is when you bowl this on your watch, right? It's super cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm gonna bowl this on your watch. You bowl this on your 640G. Okay, right, on my side. Three, two, one, start. Done. One thing I should say is I've got 35 minutes left in my sensor, so I need to change my sensor today. And now, when I'm on the loop, I do not extend my Freestyle Libre sensors. I know I have, it, it can be done, and I have made a video about that, and I have been doing that before, but when I'm on loop, to make sure I have real accurate readings, I do not extend it. Um, so I'm changing the sensor as soon as the, you know, the normal two week period expires. So that's that. And also I'm gonna be inserting sensor, you know, like with royalty, which is very exciting. And also I'm so excited about like the royal wedding and all the things being royal. I'm actually loop is really struggling to keep me in range. Um I've been in range all morning this morning as you can see you're very nice. But now because like the wedding is happening as I'm recording this <laughs> start a sensor uh, during a, a royal protocol you need to be there's very different protocol when you start you have to go milady I don't know why it's silly milady may I uh, start a new sensor and then you start it remember when you want to use your iPhone and your freestyle Libre reader to scan your reader you scan your sensor you scan the reader first and then you scan with your iPhone. Milady, uh, may I start the sensor? And then you go, yes. Because if you don't do that, the sensor's gonna be inaccurate. You press start new sensor, the NHF, uh, NFC interface pops up. You scan it, there we go. And it's gonna be ready in 30 minutes. Now, in 60 minutes, now, for those 60 minutes, you don't get CGM reading, so you have to be on open loop because loop doesn't work when you don't have a CGM reading, so that's that. Now I'm currently applying the adhesive and the um, transmitter to my Libre after the activation period, and I've realized that actually today, um, my sugars are, not, are just not as good as they normally would be, first of all, because I, was not on loop for about 70 minutes. And second of all, I'm very excited about the um, Royal Wedding. Uh, very beautiful, there we go. Da -da -da. 
Got it. Also, when you start a new sensor, you are asked by Spike to enter your first blood glucose value. And now, I do actually do a finger prick. I mean, I used to just enter a number from my um, Libre, but now I actually do do the calibration um, to make sure it's accurate. Because you know, at the end of the day, that makes decisions on my glucose set. As you can see, I'm not even in the target. Okay, so the royal wedding is actually over and I'm about to have a small lunch and let me show you how you bowl this using your Apple Watch when you are on Loop. So the Loop app on the Apple Watch looks like this and I've got carbs and bowls option. I'm going to enter carbs. As you can see, I'm 5.6 and dropping now. So let me enter carbs and I'm about to have about 36 grams of carbs. So the default is 15 carbs and you just use the digital crown here to increase your um carbohydrates i'm gonna go 36 and here you've got those three emojis and they show you different absorption times so this is if your meal will absorb in two hours three hours and four hours and three hours is the best option for me personally so i always keep it at, th at three hours and then just print it, press add carbs and as you can see, you can enter your bolus here, and I hope you can see this. And um, the, rec the loop recommends zero um, units of insulin at the moment. And if I want to, I could use the digital crown to inject myself with, you know, half a unit or something. But I'm not going to do that because I do not want to go low. So I am just going to press cancel. And now, the good thing about this is that actually, Loop now knows that I'm still going to have those carbohydrates. And so in the future, when I do recover from that, um, oh, let me undo the zoom. So when I recover from this hypo that I'm approaching, um, Loop might automatically give me a small correction, knowing that, okay, you've recovered. So um, it sort of knows instead of just giving you an extra correction, extra, you know, basal, temporary basal, it actually knows what is the reason of that, because it's quite intelligent. So I'm currently 3.6, and oh, I've shot a 3.6 with arrow down, and I think it's a, I think I'm actually really happy that I'm doing this on a day like today, where everything is a bit crazy, and like, I wasn't on loop for like an hour, and you know, like, you know it's a big day etc and because uh, the truth of with the whole looping thing is that yes it helps you like every single day but it's not going to solve every single issue it's not like you just you know it will prevent you from having every single low every single hyper it does prevent you know so many hypers and so many hypos but in some cases like now it just reduces this you know the size of that hypo i probably would be severely low at this point but because my basal was suspended for something like an hour at this point um i'm only 3.6 but i should probably stop talking and treat that hypo um but um yeah and here we go so um i'm gonna end the video here um we're gonna get some drinks now um, because it's a royal wedding to celebrate a little bit, so I thought it's no point really showing you what's happening down there. And so, um, as you can see, Loop works really, really well, and it's really, really cool. Um, my overall review of being on the Loop for the first week is that it saves me a lot of time. I'm more productive, because I'm having small lows, or it's, you know, avoiding me from having lows. Also, like... I, I have that feeling with loop, like it makes me feel just better because I know there is something that's sort of making sure everything is fine behind me so I don't feel the entire pressure of, you know, being a diabetic. I don't know this might sound really, really bad, but like some, not, not, not even half of it, but maybe like 25% of that pressure that I had you know, to always check sugar levels and things like that is sort of moved towards the app and the app is sort of dealing with that pressure, um, which is which is great. So, um, I, I've, I, you know, my experiment is 
going very, very well. And uh, I think I'm gonna stay on loop. You know, I was thinking of maybe doing it for like two weeks, three weeks, but I think I'm gonna stay on it. So that's that. Thank you so much for watching. Now, uh, my full video about loop, I'm planning to do like a short video about looping to, you know, show you what it is being on a closed loop and like explain all the details about it and now i want to make it a really short compact video so if someone so like to go video if you have that friend that knows nothing about looping so they can go and see that video and now let me know in the comments if you'd like me to make that video like a 30 second video or more like two minutes video or like a five minute video what is the best so it's detailed so they know what it is but so it's not too detailed so there is a balance but I've, I've got my own idea of what I would like to do but I would like to know your opinion so let me know what you think about the today's vlog and uh, all things like that and so please comment and say hi and let me know what you think about Lupin and if you are planning to do Build your own loop let me know as well also i've got some really exciting like news coming up about this thing that i cannot share yet about the rail link so stay tuned because i'm going to be doing a video about this and if you went to looping or if you are using the loop you're gonna love it trust me i can't say anything more now but that's that also i've got some like different news that I can't really share yet, um, but uh, I will review when I can. So thanks so much for watching. See you guys. showed you that donut it's because I'm about to have it and it's 45 grams of carbs and so I'm about to bonus for it mm. uh, but it's really good so if, in case you were wondering have a good day see you guys for real now for real see ya